That'd be twenty seven. Jamal Murray episode. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot today, man. We got, we got a, a we got a ton to unpack here. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the beef. Yeah, we perfect timing today. Perfect. A lot, timing. a lot of time. The timing is tough. Yeah, and we got a punch and stuff. We uh, Drake just dropped. What's it called? Oh, the Heart Part Six. Heart Part Six. Um, and then we got everything else that's dropped to yeah we got to break down. We, and then we also got draft of of best friends best types of friends yeah yeah best right? types of friends and then um we'll, we'll do, talk we'll talk nuggets wolves a little bit we'll, we'll address that we'll do some questions from the sticks and we also got another movie review yeah we what did, was that uh, movie called did, prisoners prisoners really good and jake gyllenhaal i'm i'm this is like i've never announced this publicly as my favorite actor whoa i've been yeah and i've been thinking that for like that wasn't just a today thing damn like yeah because i watched a bunch of um his other movies i mean he is good he, he's definitely he's, he's got it like that um let's mm -hmm. just start with the with the beef um yeah where we left off let's let's just pick it up where we left off so we the last time we talked about it we were on kendrick's uh i think it was 6 a.m or whatever that was the last song we we which and and which looks like now looking back that was kind of bait to get drake yes. to drop and then he did the drop right after yeah um yeah what do you think of I don't know. Give your thoughts from 6 a.m. to now where we're at. Going. Yeah, so I think we got to just take it one step at a time here because we missed so many. But I'm almost glad we missed so many because now we have the full story. Mm -hmm. So uh, Family Matters was the next one that came out. After 6 a.m., yeah. I think that's the best song that was released in the whole beef. As a song. As a song, yes. I, I agree. I think it's the best song. And again, by the way, we just, we're so, we're lucky to, to have this beef in general best beef in rap history i feel like it ha i haven't and look i haven't dove into the jay-z nas it, it doesn't feel like it was this i feel it i mean this is we're gonna remember this forever 100 percent. so um but really I, awesome I, that we have this pod because we're just we're like you and i we have have conversations talking i know on on tape about um, the like we have our actual reaction to it um but yeah the only reason i say that like we really do have a basically like a collab album from kendrick and drake that uh -huh, just we do. dropped for some reason and i think we're like May, you know like i don't think we're i think we're maybe two-thirds halfway done oh no, I, th I think I, there's plenty plenty more you see, think that, it's shutting down soon? i think it's done personally. oh really that's what i think just because or let's just take it one step at a time yeah here. so okay so yeah go ahead family yeah. matters yeah i think it's the best song it's just it's drake doing drake there's there's three just segments of him just like it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I actually listened to that song. It's sounds good. Sounds really good. Yeah. Didn't say anything crazy. Said he he said he beat his wife. I think that was the first time he said that. Mm -hmm. That is wild. But, but that, other but than that, that's also out there about him. Like there's there's like some evidence of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think like that. Like, but he didn't he didn't push the red button there. No, no. So then, but I I feel like that was his plan. I think he was he thought that he did push the red button, but you didn't say anything crazy. But he thought so. That was his red button. Song. I think so. That's how when he stored that. And we'll, we'll throw that little picture up. When he stored that, I thought that meant he's about to press it. I thought it was caution, and then he's the guy looking at the red button. He's about to click it. I think that's what he was saying. Um. Okay. Then, whatever. Ten minutes later, mm -hmm. Kendrick does meet the Grams. Really and just really, um, just good. Uh, good play by Kendrick there. Just time, such a good play this. throughout. Because his worst by far is the freaking what's it called? The one from that morning. So yeah, that one was just I, I that was just that like was a whatever, yeah. So and so he just completely overshadows mm -hmm. Drake's song. Yeah, nobody's talking about Drake shit. And that one is that one's really like that one. That's like a tough listen. It it's is like creepy. When I listened, I I was like, okay, Drake's done. This this beef mm -hmm. is over. There's no yeah. way anybody releases anything else. But then Drake's stories, and he's like, I don't have a kid. Correct. And, and that's this, that's a whole thing we're gonna definitely talk. I think let's get through the timeline and then let's okay. go back to that. So yeah, but so, I'm gonna so, put, I'm gonna actually write that down. I want to talk about that. So he does meet the Grams. Yep. Uh, that one's like it's it's brilliant writing. It's not even it's not a song, but it's like just like a crazy bomb to drop. Then the next day he does, you don't know us, and then Drake follows up today with, uh, what was it? Six, or not uh, like uh, not like us? Yeah, yeah. You're not you're not like us. Yeah. Um, Which I actually not like us was a bang. I thought yeah, like, it was actually was, like a really good song and just just some tough claims at at Drizzy there. Yeah, he just directly says it. But um, what do you think? What do you think? It's, you 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 think it's like we're three fourths of the way through this thing? You think we're still going here? Yeah, I just think Kendrick is going to drop a couple more. What else could he say? I don't know. I don't know. But and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's done. But I just and if it's done, I, are we all right on both ends? Oh, I think I think if it's done here. I think it's just like that series went seven and like the people, the, the Drake fans get to say Drake won, the Kendrick fans get to say Kendrick won. And you just yeah. like, nice, good, 
good good what rap, do, guys. So what do you think of Drake's so then in the new song, he did and you said like that Drake might be doing this. He did say he was like, I planted a, a mole to tell you that I had an eleven year old and I just gave you all this fake stuff. And he's like, You didn't even double check and you're you're an idiot for that. Yeah, that's tip, and then he, tip your and then cap, he said, Kendrick. And then he said, By the way, if I were a pedophile, I'll be in jail. Yeah. So I th- I thought the record was really good. What did you think? I think it was it was a brilliant play. I don't I I he, he but it, got but if, Kendrick. He got him. You've but I got- think I think Kendrick has done a better job with like narrative because like if you it, I'd say like when I go on Twitter, but it always was like that. But it seems like it's like eighty twenty Kendrick won from the people right. But everybody wanted to say that. Everyone wanted to say that either. So way. like if Drake would have dropped the same songs. As Kendrick, it would have been like maybe it would have been fifty fifty. I think Kendrick's played very well in this beef. I, I just I, think, I think I just think Kendrick's Kendrick's fans were going crazy when he dropped six AM and you were they like were. that they song were. was like ass and he didn't say anything and Yeah. Yeah. Like you gotta just tip your cap. The guy is a what, what did he say? He's a war general. He just he, Jersey, he, yeah, he yeah. planned ahead. He had a he, he had a game plan. Mm-hmm. He stuck to the game plan. He got him with a trap. Then yeah, he got I, hit with a couple pedophile claims. I think he didn't. Mm-hmm. He didn't think that that was going to take off. Yeah, he tried to get ahead of it too. Mm-hmm. You know, with with uh, Taylor made. He did. Like he, he did. was like, let me just let me just eight mile this and and like squash it before he starts, and he then he, he let that one get away from him. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, but I I think after this one, it's like I don't even want to hear anything from Kendrick because. Drake's just saying he's lying. I do think Kendrick's done a better job of because, and that's what I wanted to talk about. It's like, and I was listening to Joe Budden talk about it, and I was talking to you a little bit, but it's like lying. Lying is just a part of rap beef, and it's, so it's it's controlling narrative to where people care about what you're saying, and like it forces them to think about the guy in that type of way or think about him in a certain <laughs> way. And I I do think Kendrick did a better job than Drake at that. We talked about lying as part of the battle. No, T matters. The T one hundred percent matters, but, but what, the, the veracity of the T, like, is, is it truthful or not, or just saying it? Both, both in the art of war, you can just say something, and if you can put that, but you know that's all communication is. So if you just say something and put it in somebody's brain, true or not, you've put it in their brain. Like these are frequencies. I would, yeah, I'll say that. I think Kendrick probably outbattled them. I think, like, yeah, I think. Uh, I agree. Just with the mental games and how how you sway the the public. Yeah, but I think when we look back on it, because right now, like the general perception is that Kendrick is still Everyone, up a hundred percent. Everyone's but, and everyone's like Drake's done. You could hear it in his voice on this one, which but, is like. But when you look back at the data of the songs, exactly. Like when we when when ten years from now, when you're like, what happened in the Kendrick Drake? I think people are just going to be like, they both kind of went at each other, and it was mm-hmm. like, it was great. And neither of them really won or lost. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I think general, like, I think the perception right now is that Drake got killed. That is definitely the perception. But that was like, it was going to be really hard for that to not be the perception. Yeah, just because people, like, just people want, want him to get, lose which anyway. is so annoying to me. It's fine. I mean, that's that's just the key like rap thing. Well, it's kind of like people. It's like people. People want LeBron to lose. Exactly. I was trying to like like people mm-hmm. hated the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Like I never hated the Warriors. I just wanted. I didn't either. Like I like the good team. Yeah, you just want the the top guy to lose. But I think generally people do not like the top guy. For sure, for sure. Good job, both guys. We're we're yeah. blessed, man. We should all just be saying thank you, man. Yeah, good, good, good battle. Good yeah. battle, gentlemen. I good think battle. it's over though. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's not, but we'll just see. Um, what else? We got the Nuggets. Yeah, I mean the Wolves are the Wolves are freaking good, man. The Wolves are. Good. Um, we got a series on our hands. Um, I I I pressed the panic button already personally. Yeah, I don't I. We looked like I shit. I didn't. I'm not pressing the panic button. We didn't look like shit. We they looked like they were better at basketball. Yeah, as yeah, a yeah. team, and that's where and that's I think where you're getting the panic button. You're like, we got to win in basketball, and they're better at basketball. Is that where you're coming from? Well, when I watched that game, I was like, we we just lost because like they just were better. Yeah, because like everyone played kind of normal. Jamal's just not going insane, and that's what we need. Yeah, right? I guess if if like because Jamal still like Jamal didn't play. He's not dude when he does playoff. Mall shit. He's like one of the best players in the league. Yeah, you said he's like his comp in the playoffs is usually like Kobe. Well, it's and like then, he they. There's a whole video. Well, we might have to like link it. I don't know what it is, but you if you watch it, it's like the most ridiculous stats. He he's a different player. In yeah, the he is. I, he every stat. It's like the player. Everybody's right here on the graph, and he's like all the way up here. But he's done it for like four years. Yeah, right? no, it's not so like it's, one or two years. Yeah. It's a thing. He's he's got like sixty playoff games under his belt. So it's I think a bit of the issue is he's just kind of hurt. 
I think that's a little it's bit of the issue. Uh, I think that we probably just didn't start well. I think that's part of it. And then you, you look at the game though, didn't. and you're like, you're like, okay, we lost by like ten or whatever. But Nas Reed banks the three. Rudy Gobert banks a little. Yeah, elbow but also jumper. like yes, but like Cat gets into foul trouble. On there, I'm, I'm just saying if we're if we're trying to be optimistic that bank here, was so annoying. It's like that was a huge swing. That was a huge swing. Not yeah. and it's like is Nas Reed gonna go six for seven, score fourteen points? Probably there? not. Probably not. Probably not. And also, is Jamal gonna do seventeen again? I think he'll go thirty two. I think yeah, at some point he's gonna go thirty two. Yeah, I think he can go thirty two. I think that's it. it, it like, wh- dude, I first of all, I everybody think- else played super normal. Actually, now that I think about it, everybody played how they play. Everybody played. Yoke did the our brand of basketball. Reggie yeah. Jackson actually played like better Reggie, than he normally Reggie plays. was doing was doing some stuff. I thought CB played really well. Yeah, he just did the dunk thing, the athletic thing. He, I think we we got to give him, maybe him more minutes. Maybe I'll call Mike. Be like, give CB. You should you should maybe hit him. Yeah. But then who comes out of the lineup? That's Mike. That's the problem. <sighs> it's like you don't sit Mike. You don't say Mike because he's like the best player. To I guess ever it just play depends basketball. on how like KCP is playing. I just I don't. No, I but like, KCP's a good like. You, I like having KC out there. Good defender, good shooter. I just maybe we just we ask the Wolves if we can do six v six. We could do that. That's we could do that. maybe like a good. But no, but then somebody's got to pick up Nas. True. So that would make a whole nother issue. They're a good team, man. Nas is such a good piece. Uh, who's the other guy? Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson's just a like good a, piece. A good pro basketball player. Jaden McDaniel's great piece. Great piece. And then um, what's his like name? Conley. Just, yep, yep. Dude, they're Monte's they're just so a normal tough. piece for them. Monte is probably like a great leader for them, though. He is a, a good leader, yeah. I'm just really nervous. And, but like Conley's and a great leader. Yeah. It's when a great, this episode it's a great comes out, we'll, we'll be going to war in like an hour. And if, if we lose that game, I'm going to be so fucking... I just like the the thought of down two out and we lost two home games is is really scary. But also, Ant is Ant gonna do forty every game? He might. I think Ant is just the, like one of, gonna be. It's just Ant is he really is MJ. He's playing like him. He look he feels like a young MJ. Mm-hmm. I don't I didn't watch MJ, but he, I didn't either. That but seems like what MJ's comp was, player comp. He just feels like he's on another level, and like mm-hmm. you you like you normally when you watch a game you'll you'll see like. Yoke's a perfect example. He's the best player in the league. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you watch and be like, you won't, you won't jump out to you that he's like the best player on the court. It's like it's like uh when like when he just dribbled and laid it up. Yeah, like, with like a minute left or thirty seconds left. That was like like you do that in like a nine year old game because you're better than the other nine year old. He like he's you know I mean? so like he's just so much more athletic and like yeah and like faster and I'm scared of him. I'm scared he's of just him. Just naturally super good. Yeah, but I also I will say that this is I I think this is going to be our hardest series. Yeah, I do. Th- if we win this, we definitely go to the finals, and I think we just probably beat the Celtics. Yeah, well, yeah. the Celtics would be tough too, but I, I, it's like it's okay to have a, a tough series in yeah. the playoffs. Like it's gonna happen. Yeah, because it'd be who? On the, it'd be Thunder or the Mavs. Thunder, which again, probably both of those go either six or seven. But yeah, like the Thunder are good. Thunder yeah, are good. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll we'll keep you guys updated. I'm I'm really nervous going into this. Game. I'm big game, game too. Two here, big game too. Um, should we get into the draft now? Oh yeah, let's get into the draft. So we just I, kicked off with news, and we'll go. But that Saturday, draft. that Saturday was just a, it was terrible for me, man. That that L, because we well, like we take the L and then Kendra drops at halftime. So we got draft of the best types of friends. Yeah, yeah. You um, want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I just have five picks, so I hope you don't take one of mine. I'm sure I have some of yours. So. I was just tr- uh, I was trying to think of like like some of my friends from like Nashville and just like what is their yeah, yeah. what is kind of their label. My first pick is just I don't think you will have mine. Um, my first pick is just the down for anything friend. Okay. Um, it's like if I said to him, like, let's go out, he'd mm. be like, yeah. If I said to him, let's yeah, just I mean, stay in and play video games, he'd say, if I said, let's like go into that volcano, he'd say, yeah. Um, so just a down for anything guy. It's you, you need a guy like that. I mean, that those friends are, um, you'll find, I think you'll find the down, down for anything trait in a lot of like my friends here. Mm-hmm. A, a lot of these guys I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to, but the down for anything friend could be dangerous too. Yeah, cause, well, because it's like it's a no questions asked thing. Right, it's, you can say anything, and they will say yeah. yes. So, yeah. So, at what point is it like? like well, if I said let's let's let's, uh, I don't know, do something dangerous, they just agree. It's it, noble. It's noble, though. Yeah, it's noble because you, they don't. They're, they're they're putting you first. They're 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 selfless. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um. No, it's a good pick. Uh, my first pick. I'm gonna just do um, the fat friend. <laughs> okay. I just think like. Having a like, I like, I, I having a fat guy in the group is is like is crucial. I think. I think so too. It's just they're 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 fun. They're they're and bringing the energy. They're funnier than everybody. 
but a fat friend that likes being fat. Oh yeah, and like leans into it. And it's, and and you 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 don't gotta be like, you don't gotta be like fat fat. Yeah yeah. <laughs> you, you, know? just, you have to have like a. You have to have a gut, and it has to be like kind of a comedic gut, right? And you yeah. could almost you could almost, you could almost not even be fat, but like just say you're fat, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. like like it's more of like being fat is like more of a mindset, a hundred percent. Like some like sometimes like you could you could be your fat friend could be ripped, your fat friend could be skinny, yeah, <laughs> you could have a skinny <laughs> yeah. fat friend, yeah. It's it's more like it's like it is like a a funny thing. Mm-hmm. It's a it's an energy. It's, it's a an funny energy. energy. Yeah. It's it's just the ultimate glue guy. Do you have a fat friend? Not here. I don't. Yeah. I don't have a fat friend either, really. Yeah, um, I, I, I mean, I'm looking to pick one up. Same. That's a good pick, though. I'm gonna go. They don't grow on trees out here. I'll say that. Yeah, they don't in Cali. Really, they, yeah. there's not as many fat friends. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. I'll go in my two to the offensive coordinator. I kind of named all the friends. Okay. We've actually talked about this a lot. Um, it's like if you're going out, like you and I aren't types of guys that like play insane offense. Just in terms of, it's like it's like if you're at a bar. You need an offensive coordinator who like there's like six people over there and he's gonna like go like buy a beer with that guy and then you're now you're with like six new random people and you're like you're like sitting at a table and you know what I mean yeah so I just mean, like a guy that's gonna play like aggressive offense and just doesn't care I'd say Rudy is like an offensive coordinator yeah just, for like, sure Rudy just like really likes to like talk to random people mm-hmm. and shit yeah um I think that I mean I you know what I would say I think anybody could be an offensive coordinator yeah I think you just kind of let it rip. But uh, yeah, I think if 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 we're hammered, I'm if I'm hammered, I'm an I'm, I'm yeah, an OC. No, no, me too, me too. Um, but I, I if, if like ninety nine percent of the time I'm no OC. But I think a true OC too is like even an OC when they're not hammered. Yeah, like which they're kind of just like that, like in life with like random people and stuff. Tough to find. Tough to find. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Rudy, that's what Rudy is. He's an Rudy, yeah, he he is for sure an OC. Rudy, Rudy's an OC. No, that's a, that's a great pick, Danny. I'm gonna keep this next one simple, and just do like a. Like your rich friend, I I had rich on here. I mean, that, so I'm, gonna like, have, I'm gonna have to figure something out. It's it's dude. They bring you to box seats at the at the Nuggets and at, it, the, at the Broncos. You're like that's awesome, and it's fun, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're like this is like you, you know like I I love you. You go as to, a friend, but I also love that you're 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 buying every drink. And we're at a steakhouse, and it's really yeah. yeah. And yeah. how did you get? And how did you get a table here? You know, because they're rich. And that, like that, that's just that's what it comes down to. No, it is really good to have. And sometimes you, like you know, people are you're you're, you're afraid to call it spade a spade. It's just listen, you're the rich friend, and and you got to settle into it. And it doesn't mean you're not friends, like true friends. Like you can be true friends with the rich friend. It's just it's a really nice perk to have the rich friend. Yes. Yeah, that's a good pick. Um, in my three, I will go. I'll go. To, okay, this is, I'll go to the evergreen friend. Um. My evergreen would just be like Kareem. I think it's just like friend you could not talk to for seven years, but you're just like, like Kareem will probably come to the wedding. Yeah. Just like a, just an ever, like you don't have to talk, but they're just like, you kind of do, you like become friends like middle school. And yes. You just, like, do you have an evergreen on you? I've got, you probably, a bunch I feel of like you have evergreens from like high school. I feel like I've got a bunch, but I'm also like still I'm not like that far removed. I mean, yeah, that's true. Evergreen though, it, it's interesting. It's like, but ever yeah go ahead you like you could be yeah no I, I evergreen it feels like just like a childhood you know it could be childhood but like i would say i would put ethan in my evergreen category and just, like we talk but like we we'll go six months no talk and, we're and then still, you just pick right back up we're still just like yeah like best friends so like i don't know that it has to be child it just has to be like you just got the friendship rooted mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah no i like that um normally i feel like you know who's always an evergreen who like people you played soccer with yes yes because you're just like boys yes like some of my old teammates i'd say are evergreens and it's like i like i there's some people i haven't talked to in like like legitimately four years and it's like mm-hmm. i would just like call them yeah because it's also like when you play like when you play a competitive sport you like go to battle yeah it's, it, you like become so much closer and you and go on like trips and yeah stuff. yeah you spend so much time together because you're like at practice and then you're like on the on team trips and you're like, and you're like in, in a, a game room. like really tired yeah, together yeah. and shit yeah and you like hate your coach together yeah you like talk shit yeah, about yeah. your coach yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's i think a teammate is a, a, a good example definition of an, of an evergreen yeah um you know that's a good pick with mine i'm gonna go to just just a weird friend dude you had i was thinking of a lot of this <laughs> yeah like just a weirdo like and that you that, just kind of laugh because it's yeah. kind of weird and they're all but they're they they have to be weird in a 
like in a nice and not we like not not creepy, creepy way. Creepy way you're out of the group. Yeah, yeah. More like I would say almost more like a nerdy guy. Corky and like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like not not afraid to to let one fly. It's like yeah, or like he like he like likes like like bird watching for some yeah, yeah. reason. And it's like weird. I would but he's s- like not, he's like nice and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely they they have to be nice. Yeah, and they have to not be creepy. Right. But I it's it's more of like a like they're just like a cartoon character. Yes. And they're just kind of part of the they're just part of the night. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of are watching them. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's and le- like la- and kind of laughing. Yeah, and, and, and you love them. You, you love them, but yeah. if this isn't the type of guy like you're probably not best friends with him. You know right. what I'm saying? You're he's, you're he's your seventh man. But he's in he's definitely in the squad. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. he's but you're it's definitely not like you probably don't have any one on one. Yeah, it takes a little of the pressure off too when you have the weird guy. For sure. Guy. Yeah, you just have the weird guy. Yeah. And he's weird. It's awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. Weird guy, do something weird. I know, like, I, yeah, I know, I know some weird guys that have run in my circles. I know some weird guys in your circles. Yeah. Just, just thinking about it. That's a good pick. Um, in my four, I mean, this is down the middle, just sober friend, just for, you know, transporta- yes. transportation purposes. Yes. Um, DD. I feel like that is better in like high school and college too because i don't really mind like uber in these days yeah i mean it would be nice always not yeah it would be nice you just don't you just drive with them i do think that the sober friend yeah like you're saving money on ubers Mm -hmm. but it's also i would say night i would say it's more about the vibe than than of having the the sober person yeah well no no no, just like like if you if we were going to a concert or going to a bar or going anywhere and we got to drive and listen to music and talk and it like, is true instead and like, of if you want to like bring a brew you just yeah, like yeah. have it in the can and yeah shit. yeah and you yeah, just yeah. do whatever you want in the car and it's that just, is true it's way it's way better mm-hmm. it's but a I, way better ride yeah it's a, it's a, a much more enjoyable experience and the sober friend might they might influence you to to maybe drink a couple waters they 100%. might percent they might look out for you they're looking out yeah yeah um I'm gonna go to I'm going to go to like a friend with great music taste. I like that. Um, I like that. I mean, listen, we're getting lower on the roster because yet yeah, sure. That's not like, that's probably not, you know, one a or, or one it's, B when you're absolutely when, a plus quality. It's absolutely a plus quality. Like if you, if you got a guy that that's listening to underground rap. Yeah. And then he can kind of put you on and you can, yes. like, you can have that up on people. Like, yeah. I know about this, this guy and I could take, and I could take it to market. I could, I could, I could. And claim it as your own. Exactly. Yeah. I've definitely, I've probably. You got some guys in your camp? Um, I've got I, I I've got guys that they'll show me bad music. Sure, you know what I'm saying. Sure, sure. But yeah, yeah. but but, but and uh, they think it's good. Yeah, but I like but I like I like where I like seeing new music. I like seeing what people are liking these days. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I like at, at least having my ear to the streets with and it and knowing that the name of that artist exactly right. Um, like I remember when Yeet was coming up. Who was on him early? Just like kids on my team were like, this guy's the shit. And I remember being like, this is, I do not like it this sounds at bad. all. Yeah, but I, yeah. but I know that this is hot right now. Right. So you can just kind of, you could just be like, y'all, y'all like Yeet? Yeah. And now I claim Yeet. I'm like, I love Yeet. You do actually love Yeet too, right? Yeah. I don't, I, I kind of forced myself onto it. Yeah. Do you, but do you like list like past like two months, have you thrown Yeet? You throw Yeet sometimes. Uh, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. It's just, he's kind of, he's, he's got fun music. He's, he's a fun, he's yeah. just like. And like his beats are just like crazy. Yeah. Um, that's a good pick. I mean, I got to find a five here because I was going to do one of yours. Um, take the imaginary friend. Sure. Sure. Just a, you know, a staple friend. I don't actually know that I ran an imaginary. I, I, yeah. It like an actual imaginary friend is, I don't really get it to be honest with you. It's just when you're like five and, and you think you have one though. Like you're like, I think you think you're, yeah, but then what do you, are you like crazy? I know, no, I know like it, yeah, yeah. Are you like an insane person? That's like, are you seeing question. a person? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know Bing Bong was a was Bing Bong was a man, but he was there, man. He was there. Oh, he very much was there. Yeah, and he's one of the greatest to ever do it. He's one of the greatest to ever do it on screen. Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't run one, but I, I think he's a he's a he's a famous guy. Man. Yeah, he's for sure. No, yeah. it's Danny. You can't argue that. Um, you went first, right? Yes, yeah, so this is five. Yeah, so my final pick, I'm just going to go. It's more like a high school thing, but it, listen, it applies at any time. It's just like a friend. It almost is a rich guy thing, too. It's just like the friend with the house. Dude, I've thought about all these, especially in like high school. Especially high school. They have the party house. Yeah. And so and, they're and cool because you could go to their house. Imagine being the guy with the house. I, I've yeah, never dude, even thought of it. Who was, 
Henry was our guy with the house. You had uh, Widow Witta was a house guy. Widow Witta ran a house, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and it was a great house. And and I I can't even imagine how fun it would be to have it at your own house, or maybe you're it wasn't at your crib. Or it's like stressful because you're like you gotta like have your crib nice and shit. And it's also know. not your crib. That's probably the most. Like, it's your parents. <laughs> it's your parents' house. We yeah. never ran house, man. Ever. We, we never ran any variation of house. No. Like we were not in the crib. Yeah, um, I didn't even. I yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't want wasn't, it though. Yeah, I, I wasn't. Wa interested. I didn't really want it. Yeah, because we also had we had like other like other other humans. Like we had siblings and shit. Yeah, we had a lot going on in the crib. I probably could have ran house because I was I was youngest. Because so we were was, we were we were gone. I pretty I, yeah I pretty much had crib to myself. And they were like probably pretty lenient with yeah. you. You probably could have run a nice house. Yeah, I didn't though. I could have run like basement party. I think I ran house when I was in like eighth grade, and I ran ping pong house. That was probably sweet. Yeah. Were people like, Zach has a ping pong table? Uh, yeah, it was definitely a thing for like a couple months or something. That so was dope. Yeah, that, yeah, that dope. was something. That was a, a, a phase that I ran. That um, is nice. Yeah. Um, but let's get right into... Are we going... What do we got? Oh, questions. Questions. I have questions. And, questions. Then, and then we'll go review. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we got a bunch. Day Dan Erickson said, what's... <laughs> it's a funny question. What's the worst thing that can happen on the toilet? <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? That's such a good question. Um, I think like maybe, I think it's like, so, um, I got it. There's like a mouse in there and they hop up on you. I guess, yeah. When you're mouse. on the toilet, like a living thing hops up. That's definitely the worst thing that could happen. Uh, I would say, because I was going to think, I was thinking like, first thing that came to mind for me was you're like on a porter potty and mm -hmm. you somehow like fall, fall in. into the shit. It, porta potty. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because though you could fall in. And that would be the worst thing That ever. would be the worst that thing that could so happen. That would be so disgusting. And, <laughs> yeah. And you the, would never recover from you that. You know what that would be is the worst. But you also wouldn't, you would uh, You would maybe recover more from that than you would from like a, a rat like, jumping up. Jumps or a, up. Or a rat. Jumps up. Because then you, you'll never trust the toilet again. Mm -hmm. Then you can't sit on a toilet. If ever. you fall, it's just like you just You, you just got a shit. You got a shit standing up. Yeah. It can be done. Yeah, people, a lot of people wipe standing up. So that's crazy. I don't even that's want to get into that. I don't want that, to either. It's kind of gross. You? No, but it's just, I don't want to talk about it. It's gross. But, so, but like, like legit people, like I, I did in like one of those like rapid fire matchup things and like top comment with like 20,000 likes was standing, uh, standing up in four. Like people <laughs> stand up. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. If you're a, a stand wiper, just kind of like hit us and just tell us like Dude, what's going on. There are legit stand wipers. What's they the they say like there? yeah they they have reasons. Hey, listen, I'm not. I've I've never even tried it, so I'm, I can't even knock it. Yeah, true. Breadstick Cole here. He just said, um, "Can I also have a ticket to Zach's big day? I love the pod." Um, yes, Cole, you can. And then did we? Um, They're not. I, I I think we talked. I think it was Tuesday of last week about you were gonna do, you were gonna try and clear up some. Like there were a couple seats that yeah. you were going to clear up for me, yeah. And then maybe Sarah has a plus one because mm -hmm. oh like, no no there's no more plus ones. Sorry, did but, I not tell you that? No. So I got you and Sarah. I I cleared up some space for you and Sarah. And then a plus one. And then, so no no no. So the plus one, Sarah wanted to bring her sister. I know I know I and I this is honestly this is on me. I'm sorry for this is probably not the way I should have brought it up, but I like I we can't do the plus ones anymore. <laughs> unfortunately um but you said we could i know i know what i said but danny like i i promise Fuck this man I, dude i knew you're gonna get and you're all... getting a ticket breads to cole you said yes yeah but that that was like more of a non-negotiable like cole has been asking for like cole asked before you asked i think to be honest with you um and you know what i should just be being grateful thank you for the ticket for sarah you're welcome thank yeah, you you're for welcome. making that happen and, and thank you for opening that up you're welcome, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Who's in your front? Who's in the front of your seating? The front five seats. Uh, that we're gonna announce it on Instagram. Can I get one person? Uh, I'll give you. I'll Does give it you... start with a D and end with an Ana? Um, White. You have Dana White. Okay, well that I, I, I it, one of them is Dana White. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, that's awesome. Uh, one, one of them is um, starts with a. It starts with a D, and ends with a rake. And with an Eric Jeter. I have Derek oh, you Jeter. Got, you yeah. got I, Derek Jeter's yeah. coming? So that's two. You get. Uh, I'm wow. only going to give you two for now. Okay. The other three will announce. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Dana White and Derek Jeter. Blessed to be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, TJ said, who wins in a seven-gamer? See you later, alligator, or after a while, crocodile? I think gator. See you later, alligator, in like five. Yeah, but I, but that doesn't take away from how, how 
awesome crocodiles been. He has a fan base. Yeah, he yeah. has. A, it's niche. It's a niche fan base. Super it's, niche. It's. I would say it's a little bit older, a little bit more mature mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. a fan base. But I think it's family a family friendly fan base. Mm -hmm. See you later, alligator. Is not. No. That's that's a hip hop show. Yeah. Right. If you go to that. Yeah. Um, it's eighteen plus. It's eighteen plus. Yeah. But see you later. See you later, alligator. Will let you know. Yes. Yes. This one comes from Eli Deming. He says Rockies update. The fans want to know. Danny yeah. the super, how is Danny the super fan handling this rough stretch? I'm struggling, and and I'll, I'm saying this. I'll say it like this: I'm struggling because they're like the worst team in MLB history. Yeah, it's like if Zach, if they are they actually, they're like eight and fucking twenty six. <laughs> they're so bad. They just got swept by the worst team in baseball. Um, it's like, like it's a big deal when they win a game. It sucks. It's dude. a big freaking deal. And that if they sucks. were just, if they were just. Even like ten under fifteen and and it's twenty five instead of it's tough to see that they're that bad this early and they lost me and I was <laughs> I really was trying they genuinely lost me man have you picked up another team no it's not like that I wanted to do it with the, I wanted to do a Rockies thing I know but like you could pick up the Yankees they I think you would enjoy, I was born in New York I could oh I should just pick them up I think you pick up the Yankees and you just enjoy the hell out of the season and then mm -hmm. when and the then playoffs I come like you'll have fun. I'll have a good time, and then should I just abandon once the Rockies get good, or should I just stick with the Yankees? That's a team I could stick with. Are the Rockies gonna get good? I don't know. Unfortunately, I just don't, I don't see know, that happening. Man. There's real, they're the worst franchise, man. <laughs> they they suck, dude. Um, I think the the argument though for them is like they're they they're game. Everybody, the games are sold out because yeah, everybody it, likes to vibe at it's the a vibe course thing. field. So, so then, so they're doing well as a franchise. That's what I'm saying. In, so in if, a weird way, if you're the owner, you're like, I don't want to spend money on. a like great players, like because we're, we're selling, selling out. We're selling out. Also, and that's a big issue with some teams. Like, there's some stadiums. Have you seen where, like, yeah, it's like there's like nine people there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, it's really, really tough. It's like I knew it would be bad. Is it's literally as bad as it could be. It's, it's tough, as man. bad as I, it I could hate be. to see you going through that. Um. How many? This comes from Jack Clark. How many countries have you guys been to? One. I've been to. I've been to a couple. I got, yeah, to, you, you, I got out to Europe. Africa. I got out to. Oh yeah, uh, I've actually been to like a lot. I got out to Spain and France. You Africa? Yeah, I Africa. I Tanzania. Was it sick? No, Africa was sweet. I went on a safari. I've told you about that. Like safari, like watching like a lion hunt. Crazy. <sighs> it's all, it's scary as fuck though. Yeah, it was really scary. like you were in like you were. We were just in a car, and they were and we just, just raw? Wa we just watched them play their game. That's like insane. they were like it was like a thing hunting. Yeah, it was crazy. What if they chase you? They're not. They don't chase you, really. You like, we were, the elephants. We were. We were like caught. We were in a whip, so we were good. Um, I don't. I don't think. Uh, maybe I don't know. I remember a lot of zebras. What's up with the elephant? What about him? It's always. It's always. It's always. I didn't see the elephant on the safari. What? Are you too cool for it? Are you? What are they? Are they? You're in your prime, elephant. Yeah, I know. Get out there. I just, en honestly enjoy the fame. Elephant is is one of the best out. I know. Yeah. I just think it's weird. I don't know. That's and like, all. see, you see a lot of zebras. Lot you see a lion. ton of zebras. You see a lot of everything. You see a lot of giraffes. It must just be. It just must be a, a just a mentality thing. With Probably. Elephant. Probably. Scared of their own luminosity. Good word. Yeah. Um, so when you see me on red carpets, I'm moving awkwardly. That's what that's what elephant put on the story. Did he really? Yeah. He said, "Maybe deep down, I'm afraid of my luminosity." So when you see me on red carpets, I'm moving awkwardly. That's what he put on his story. All right, dude. Just yeah. get outside. Yeah, just, just get enjoy outside, it. Dude. This comes from Breadstick Cole. Did we just answer one from Breadstick Cole? We did. <laughs> you going to be honest twice? Yeah. Because we, well, just... we just put up a story. I mean, it, Breadstick Cole, like, good work, man. You, you, We put the story up seven minutes ago. Yeah, you must just be a big Snapchat user. He said, hi, hey, everyone. He did hi, he did hi with hey, which is interesting. That's cool. I mean, that um, if you can pull it off, it's cool. And he yeah, did. He yeah. did. And I just think he's he's addressing more people with that. For sure. Um, and then he put this emoji. Thanks for answering this question. It feels good to be back on the pod. Thanks for having me. Too much. <laughs> Too much, Cole. <laughs> Let's get to it. When's the next phone call, attorney? Very excited. Love the pod. Hashtag pod. Uh, you know what? I love it. He, just, he was just trying awesome. to get words in. Just trying to get words in. That is awesome. Um, Breadstick Cole, when's the next attorney? I'm I'm down for attorney soon. I'm down for attorney too. I, I We have to figure out like what. What to do. What to give away? Uh, yeah, and also I think we we changed it up a little bit, like we like we, the I, style of the attorney. Because I think it was a little bit 
unfair. So I, I think when I was calling people, they saw my number and I don't think they saw your number or something. I think because they like had your name. Yeah. And they didn't see mine. Um, we got to figure it out. I am down to do it though because I'm also catching the like the long pod bug. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so down to just throw that in and just add more time to the pod. I like, I would be down. Dude, or maybe this could be a segment. We haven't, even, I just, I literally just came up with this idea just now. Maybe they just, sometimes the breadsticks, when they ask a question, they just, you just put your number under as well. And then sometimes we just call them. That's cool. And we just say like, like if, if there's something, maybe if there's something that they want to talk about, mm -hmm. like a situation, they're like, they're girls like, oh, we talk about annoying. that question. You're we saying? have them on and then they, they, they voice their opinion. I like that a lot. I, we should start that. So yeah. So tourney well, and that. Let us know if you want to do that, the just breadstick call-in type thing. That'd actually be really fun. Yeah. Or just like start putting your number on there regardless, and maybe we'll just call maybe you. We'll just give we you like, a ring. If we're like, that's a great question or something. For sure. This one comes from Johnny. He said, big fan of the pod, boys. All the guys in Canada are following along with the journey. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. That's cool. Um, what, I'm, I want to go to Canada. Would love to see y'all come well, to I've the Great to White North soon. I've been to Canada. I've been to a lot of places, man. I went to Canada. I would love to pop out, man. Dude, again. how was it? Did you go to Toronto? I did, yeah. I was did. it cool? It was cool. It was That's like sick, It was cool. I remember thinking like everyone was dressed well. That's what popped out to you? I just remember having that thought. And I don't even know if that's true. That was the thought that I had when I went to Canada. So okay. That's, we went I mean, to a, like a club that was like really cool too. It was like a sweet club. That's interesting. Did, what, did you go in the summer? Um, I think so. Can't remember. Um, no, I think it was like more towards the winter. Maybe it was like fall. I went and visited the Duquesne guys. Mm. So it was like Noah and Peace and those guys. Cool name, Peace. Sick name, Peace. Peace's name is Peace. It's, it's insane. Sweet name. Yeah, I've always, I've always just been worried that I'm going to go there because I, I feel like I'm, it's glorified to me because like Drake's always talking about the six and yeah, then I'm like, yeah. I, I feel like I'm going to go there and be like, this is just... This is just another place. This is just a place. But when I think of it, I'm like, it, this magical place. But I feel I like I liked just, it. Yeah, like, we should go. We should go. We should go. This comes from Dan Miguel. Word on the streets is that Cheez-Its recently dropped a diss on Goldfish. Yep. Talking about what actually happened in those boxes with a little eye emoji thoughts. Love the daily episodes, by the way, and see y'all at the finals. See y'all in the finals with like Four Leaf Clover. So it sounds like he's a Celtics, Celtics fan. I mean, you probably will see us. I'm okay with you saying see you in the finals because you'll probably make it. Um, I, I take that as a compliment. Like I, I could use any any piece of like, like affirmation. They think we'll be in the finals. Like, oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dan Miguel. Um, yeah, I mean, I for me, it's like they've gone back and forth. It's just like whoever actually has real proof first right. is who's going to win that yeah. beef. Because yeah. like they're, Jesus is saying some like, Really messed up shit goes out of the box. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, and then Goldfish said something about the bag that had something that happens yeah. in the cheesy bag, and I'm not going to repeat it on the pod. Mm -hmm. um, but we all heard the track that Goldfish. Yeah, and, so and if like, you if you haven't, just go to SoundCloud, look it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think it's actually on DSPs now. So yeah, Goldfish dropped it, on D and Goldfish is doing a, a better job controlling narrative because, mm -hmm. like, for sure, they both they both might be lying, um, but people seem to believe Goldfish. Yeah. I mean, listen. It's it's just two of the greatest cheese crackers of all time going going up uh, up at one another. Mm -hmm. I think we're blessed to even. And Chex Mix did the right thing by getting out. I. <laughs> That's smart. I agree. That's no, smart man. Yeah, and we understand now why Chex Mix got out. Yeah, because everyone shit on Chex Mix. Yeah, um, Chex Mix a bitch. I think it was smart. I no, I think it was. I think it was brilliant on Chex Mix behalf. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, I, 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 I'm not sure what's actually happening. It's tough to know what's what's true and what's false at this point. It's really, I tough. will say, I have sources close to cheese it. I know you do. So what? And have you talked to them or not? Um, I just, I, I, Danny, I, I, I'm, I have it on good authority that the things that cheese it are saying are are, are 100 percent true and about goldfish. Yeah. Well, if that's true, then so I, and gold, I, goldfish is over. Then I know, I yeah. know, I know. The the things that are going on in that box are unforgivable. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the like, stuff he said about the bottom of the box, mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Hol well, that's what holy shit. That's what my source is saying. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. So wow, if that's real, man. I yeah, mean, I know, I know. He could be in. He could be in serious legal, legal trouble. Legal, yeah. yeah. Jail, jail. Um, love the pod as always. This is from YouTube. I'm trying to. I think I said this last time. I'm trying to get all the the platforms of questions going. Question for the boys: As Broncos fans, what do you guys think the Steelers are going to get out of Russ? Good question. Um, Good question, Cage. I do think um, I don't know a lot about football, but I feel like Russ was in a tough situation. He was in a bad situation, and I feel like he's still like kind of good. What do you think? I think he's corny. He is. He's super corny. <laughs> but I love him. Yeah, because he's just shamelessly corny. Shamelessly corny. Uh, cr like cringy. 
cringy, but I think that's kind of what I want my quarterback to be like. So, and that's those are the main things you look for. Um, cringy, corny, right? And then, and this is probably like fifth or sixth on there for you. But what do you what do you think about like football? Is he good at football? Yeah, I mean that definitely it takes a back seat on my. Do you, you know, think he's good at football or not really? No. Okay, no. but I think we'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I think he'll be good for him because he is very corny and cringy, which is like. Yeah, but I, 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 I listen. But you so football no. I don't get. I just really I like real talk. I don't understand what they're doing. The Steelers getting him like what? I I don't. He he was really bad for us. Yeah, like so he was like, getting him. He was. I guess that they're just saying that it was the system it was, a was bad, bad system. Our like receivers weren't good enough and shit. But he was just he was really bad when he played for us, and then they picked him up. So I, it's a it's an odd move. I wouldn't love it if I was a Steelers fan, to be honest. I'd be like, well, this guy's gonna just be bad. Again. He's gonna lose like nine games, and then he's just gonna say something in the press conference that's like really positive, and you're gonna be yeah. so annoyed. You're gonna get so. really annoyed. Um, it's kind of like the Lakers like keeping D'Lo again for this year. Oh, and you you he can't was, do and it. And then he was kind of bad again you in the playoffs. Can't do that. We got Chris here. Who wins in a five v five seven game series? Coca Cola as a brand, which includes. Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Powerade, Vitamin Water, mm. or Team PepsiCo, which is Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Gatorade, Orange Crush, and Dr. Pepper. That's a damn good series. That one does. So let me read. So so at the point for Team Coke is Coke. Sprite yeah. at the two, Fanta at the three. Wow. Powerade wow. Mm. at the four, Powerade, ah. and Vitamin Water at the five. So let's break this down. Coke is a plus. Sprite's a plus. Those are really good. Coke, Sprite, Fanta is a big. Th- that's a big three. That's a big three. That's yeah. a big three. One hundred percent. Powerade is that's a really a, good pro. It's a big knock. No, Powerade's good, and vitamin water stinks. But is fun and nostalgic. Right. So but now then we're let's playing, see the other side here. We're playing against Mountain Dew, who's just freak wild athlete, card, freak athlete. Pepsi uh, plus K- player, KG vet. Yep. Gatorade, great superstar. Orange Crush, not as good as Fanta. Not as good as Fanta. And the doctor, Pepper. The doctor could be the the best player in the series, Danny. The doctor, yeah, he could be. He might like that's the thing about like about about Team PepsiCo. They might have the best player on the floor, and that's not even their main guy. Because mm-hmm. their main guy, they run they run a lot of offense through Gatorade, and then Mountain Dew plays in spurts. Well, Mountain um, Dew, it's like he could go for forty, he could go for four. You never know what do. Right. I got I got Team PepsiCo in seven. I have Team Coke. Listen, I I and, I, I and it's it's my belief in Powerade, right? You, you well, think, who has home court? Uh, Team Coke. It's Coke, Sprite, Fanta as a big three. That's like a. Those are three top five sodas. You guys have Dr Pepper, Pepsi. I don't think Pepsi is a top five soda. I think Orange Crush is the worst player in this in this ten. But but Danny, that your your guys all play the same. They play the same type of ball. Like you, you what? Vitamin Water plays up Fanta plays. Vitamin Water. Danny, you is have like a Danny, seven you, foot two. You have three. Danny, Danny, you have three ball dominant sodas, man. You have three ball. You you Danny. Coke it needs won, the ball it, in his hands. It won them sixty four Fant- games. Fanta needs the ball in his hands, and so does Sprite. They won them 64 games. They found a way to make it work. They run Sprite with that second unit a lot. Yeah, they better. They better. And then you got a weak link with vitamin water. I I, I got- I He's got, our worst He's our worst guy for yeah. sure. I, I, and and Powerade leak. sucks. And Powerade- <laughs> Orange Crush is not good. Gatorade is going to destroy- <laughs> no, Gatorade dude. might retire Powerade. I, this series. might be a pod segment of us uh, blind taste testing. You, only oh. you doing it so I could talk a bunch of shit because you're going to like think three are better. We'll do it next time. And it's going to be like three to two Powerade. Dude- no, I can we do that? Yeah, a hundred percent. If you lose, I'll. If you like prefer, even if you prefer Powerade on any of them, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk some shit. I will not prefer Powerade. It's my worst. <laughs> no, it is. It's fine. I it's hope good. I do, dude, because that will just like open up. Like when I see Powerade, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna do it. Do you, have you ever had Powerade? Yeah, like blue. You like blue Powerade over like blue Gatorade? Um, it's so blue Powerade over blue. Uh, depend. Blue Gatorade's better, but. Like like so much better. Blue the, Gatorade's better, but like purple Powerade's better. The uh, maybe I've never had purple, purple Powerade's Powerade. better. Um, the thing orange, that's frustrating is orange like it, goes to Powerade. No, oh, yes, it looks so refreshing. The blue Gatorade, the Powerade bottles. I'm like, this looks like it's gonna be so good. Yeah, yeah. And then you got to do the right. You just got to do the right flavor. Um. Anyways, we got Rusty here. We should do that next pod. We should actually have you try. I would, I, it's not a great segment for the audio guys, so maybe oh, we stick true. it. We stick it at the end. Yeah, maybe we we do it for the end. Um, but yeah, I actually want to do that. Yeah, we got Rusty here. He said, um, "Just wondering your guys' thought on who takes the seven game series, top bunk or bottom bunk? Mm. Top bunk is obviously the flashier player, mm-hmm. 
but the fundamentals mm-hmm. and convenience of bottom bunk are unlike anything we've seen in the PBBA, Professional Bunk Bed Association. Dude, you don't have to clarify. Let that, me know. know what you think and go Nuggets. Go Rusty. Go, yeah, go Rusty. Go Rusty. No, That's, go Rusty. Yeah, yeah. We, as you can see, we really need encouragement right now. Yeah, so, that meant a lot, Rusty. That meant that, like, sometimes you don't know what you're saying, how much it means. It meant a fucking yeah. lot. A lot. Dude. Thanks, Rust. Thanks. Um, what was the question? Top, bon- top, top versus bottom? I think bottom. Yeah, but, but. Bunk, that is. How, how, <laughs> like, what year are we, what era are we talking with bunk beds? Right? Because I think, like, if we're talking, like, if you're six, da- Danny Zach, six, uh, ten year old, six year old era. I think the, the top bunk. You took top bunk because you wanted it, and it was the, it was the alpha bunk. Yeah, but you, I had it was the alpha bunk. But I had fear sometimes. Of, oh, really? Of falling. Yeah, yeah. I had have fear, you, have, I had have fear you, of falling. Have you spoken about this yet, or is this something that's kind of just coming out right now? It's coming out now. Um, and let it age <laughs> between me and top bunk. How it has to age. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, but yeah, I've had I've had fear of falling. But you had. But did you have you 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 worked with guardrails, correct? I worked with guardrails. Yeah, yeah. But there, you you know, there's a couple slots up up top and down yeah. low. You can you can slip, man. You can slip and fall. You think you could like worm out of there? I don't, man. A wild dream. Yeah. Maybe, oh man. Maybe I like throw a punch <laughs> yeah. and I flip over. Yeah. 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 And no, I've heard stories. Really? I've heard stories. Yeah. So I yeah, mean, that, it is dangerous. But but yeah, so it is dangerous. What's it's the a point? Very dangerous thing. Just put them next to each. It saves space. That's that's definitely the point. That that's the point. That's the point. That's going to be the point there. It's The point is that it saves room. Yeah. You're a bottom bunk guy, and it, but it was boring down there, right? Well, we just kind of, we, we got by with what we had. We just, you know, we we didn't sell as many pay-per-views, tell you that much. I think you, you sold you guys four very, times the pay-per-views that my guys did. But Yeah, but your fans were like very wholesome. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We just, you know, we, we, we had fun with it. We had fun with it. Yeah. Um, Gage said, who wins in a seven-game series, Stash or Goatee? I mean, it's Stash. It's Stash, brother. Goatee's a little too specialty, but hold on. No, oh, Danny, I like goatee. But I, I feel like when I think goatee, I think just only goatee. I'm, I'm saying like, when do I we think, have goat, we don't have goatee. No, no, no we don't. Goatee have goatees. has to be exclusively goatee. Right? But when I, you're thinking goatee, I think you're thinking connected goatee. I'm thinking mustache. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Like, look up. Uh, that's goatee. No, no, no. That's see, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm and thinking let me get a screenshot of that. You're thinking, and I think I see what you're thinking. You're thinking like I'm, you had a goatee. Na- you're, na- you're thinking like this. Yes, that's, that's really nice. Thinking. That's really nice. But now I can't think of anybody who has one. Who has a goatee? Yay have a goatee? I want to say famous people. Yay might have a goatee. Famous people. No, I think all those people have beards. Okay, Ice Cube does a nice goatee. That's like a goat. That's like a that's an OG goatee. Though. That's a connecto. That's a connecto t. Famous people with disconnected. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, goatees. Dang, dude. These McCona- are- but this is not a true goatee out of McConaughey. No, that, McConaughey. That's a beard. Yeah. All right. I, I, now I can't think of anybody who has a goatee. So I might be corrected. I'm going to go Brad, Bradley Pitt. Bradley Pitt has a goatee here. There you go, Pitt. That, and that. that's a disconnected goatee. There you go. That's there. There's the goatee. Nice job. But I think, oh, yeah, I don't know. Christian Bale with a goatee. Yeah, I got I got stash in four, actually. Yeah, I got stash as well. Probably probably goes five. A good goatee a game. Um. Grant said, where do you think G lands in the alphabet draft? I, and I think this is good. We don't talk about G enough, man. Yeah. Especially with wild cards such as X in it. Also an OG stick. Love the pod. Appreciate you, Grant. Thank you, Grant. Um, G's an interesting guy, man. He's an interesting letter. Yeah. yeah Keeps and, to himself. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he never quite got over the non-vowel thing. No, he honest. didn't. You know, I think that really hurt him and stung him. And he, you know, he doesn't talk about it a lot. Um, but you see letters, got, S got over it. Yeah, it's got over it, and he he actually he thrives in the in the constant, constant, the best constant of all time. I yeah, think. no, I agree. T um, got over it. G um, didn't. G didn't. G I mean, didn't. G like, didn't. And the thing with G is like G, like you don't need them. No, and you also have like you're a G. Like yeah. that's a really, but he's like so like in his feels about not being a vowel, and yeah. it's like gets a little like all right. It it we it, get it. It's affected you. Yeah. But, and when when you got announced that you weren't a vowel, it affected you. But yeah. like, what's your life after? Exactly. What's your consonant life? Exactly. Um, what, yeah, what's your life outside a letter? Yeah, and I think we're going to enter an era where being a consonant is like the cool thing. I agree. I, I think like that's that's closer than you would think. That's what trends do too, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's You know, because you know back in the 90s it was cool to be a consonant. <laughs> it was very cool and it's coming back. And yeah. then it wasn't cool to be a consonant. And, that's and the thing, vowel thing was cool. Yeah, yeah. And, the, yeah. And, and I think it's going to come back very soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baggy jeans, consonants. The same shit. Zoe said, hey guys, long time breadstick first time asker would you rather be mid-tier nba talking like seventh man 
for a couple seasons. Yes, that. Or, or, <sighs> or be the face of a niche sport. The Tony Hawk, for example, the Tony Hawk of skateboarding. I would be Tony Hawk. No, I'd be the seventh man. But not just face of a random niche sport. I'm not going to take the deal, but I think I would take Tony Hawk over like a two year in the NBA stint. Oh, wait, it was only two years? Follow up. If the second option is chosen, what sport are you choosing? Thanks for your time, Zoe. I think I'm being Tony Hawk of skateboarding. How many years do we? It, it she was, said talking like seventh man, couple seasons. Mm, see, I'm not. I'm being the face for how sure. About, how about seven seasons of Journeyman? And do I get? A, do I? Am I going to be on a championship winning team? Uh, you make it to the finals twice, but you that, don't win. No, I'm doing You're that. You're taking that. I'm doing that for sure. How I, about your Tony Hawk or your? Um, who's the guy? I can't think of his name. Damn. He like shoots corner threes and he shoots six. PJ like Tucker? A, yes. Yes. You're PJ Tucker or you're Tony Hawk? I'm PJ Tucker. You're PJ? No, I'm Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's a legend. Tony Hawk is like the goat. But Tony Hawk, that I, I feel like that's a bad example. Like I, I Yeah, it would be like you're the best uh like BMX rider. Yeah, no. Or yeah. like the best indoor lacrosse player. No. <laughs> yeah. No. In that case, I'd be PJ Tucker. Yeah. I mean, also being PJ Tucker, it's so cool because you get to who who has he won with? He won with Giannis. Like he'll get to tell the stories of being on the team with. And your your best friend is Giannis. Kind of so cool, very cool. And you're also like you're balling. Like you're not. He's probably so good, but he just so he good. found his role. He's so good at hoops, though. Yeah. In terms of how good he could be at basketball, he's maxed out. That guy, man. Yeah. Long time listener, first time questioner. Did you guys hear that the cream in Oreo wants to leave because the cookies were squishing him too much and he's had enough? Which side are you guys on? I understand if you contractually have to stay impartial. Um, I don't, yeah, I mean. We won't be silenced, first yeah, of all. Like, what? A, like, who do you think we are? We're not going to be silenced. Yeah, like, I'm not scared of anyone. We don't I'm give not, a shit. I'm not scared of big We don't big give a shit. I'm dude. not scared of big cookie nor big cream. <laughs> yeah, big cookie. And that's big cookie wants us to be scared. And I think being scared gives big cookie the power. We're not scared. Yeah, we've got like have have we gotten a bunch of season assists from from cream and cookie? Yeah, yeah. But it's cut, but chips ahoy, crunchy sucks. And yeah, I think only the soft cookie's good. Yeah, and yeah. Season assists, that's what them. it is. Couple and and the thing was with the season assists though, it, it, it season assists cost nothing, nothing. But I, I, I'm not, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the ball in their court. Are you gonna sue us, cookie? I don't Are think you? So. It's gonna cost you a lot of money. So do it. Yeah, do so it. Do it. You won't do it. Put your money where your cookie is. And let's just talk Oreo here. I think I think cream's being a, a prima donna. Yeah, I agree. Stay and stay with that cookie. Yeah, stay with that. You're being squished. What you want to be? You want to play on your own? You want to play as a main cookie? What do you want to do? Like, yeah. You want to bake by yourself? Like yeah, and, and we'll, like do like your own form of. I don't know what he would even do. Well, the, what he wanted to do was he wanted to he. he there was a huge, like, there was a locker room squabble, and I actually heard the audio that <laughs> between was, Cookie and Cream. And Cream, and he said, "Oh shit!" He said, "I want to hear said, about this." Yeah, and he said, "How would it feel if I was squeezing you?" Yeah, and then yeah, it was, yeah. "How would I feel?" And they were really <laughs> pissed. And then what Cream said, he said, "I'm out," and and word for word, "I'm out," unless you let me do a reverse Cream with Cookie inside. I think they tried that. That's what I don't think they released it. I, I think that they tried oh, they it. They didn't release it. I know they tried it they like tried it in training. And, be, that, and that got, leaked too. And who, by the way, whoever leaked that, you're weird. Yeah, you're don't weird. Leak you're that. weird don't for leak, that. Like <laughs> experimental training shit, you yeah, weirdo. With cookies, like you're you're a weirdo. Yeah, you're um, weird for that. <laughs> but that's crazy, man. Yeah. I, I think I think they have a good It doesn't thing going. work. And yeah, that'll be a bummer if Oreo has to if it doesn't work out, but you don't have foundation cream. You don't. You have no foundation, you have no crunch. And it's sad because Cream doesn't understand that Cookie is giving Cookie is is keeping him safe. Cookie is protecting him. Yeah, Cookie has made Cream the biggest thing he could ever be. Exactly. And he wants. Where do you like? It's just not going to work. I know. Just stay with that. Stay with that sandwich, man. Stay with those two cookies. They're yeah. good guys too. Both Great of dudes. Them. Both of them. Great dudes. <laughs> uh, Breadstick Jesse. This is a good question. Seven game series. A cat that raps or a dog that laughs. <laughs> so like <laughs> a house cat that just like raps like Drake. Yeah, or um, a dog that just laughs. I like dogs more, but I'd, the rapping thing is really cool. The rapping thing's so cool, but also like how much, dude. I already, you already love your dog. Imagine how much you would love it if he just laughed at every joke you said. Yeah, and it might get annoying. Like, like, all right, you're freestyling again. Yeah, yeah. and you know how cat would be with it. Cat would be like so. Like, cat would like record a lot. Yeah, and it'd be like you drop a lot of tapes, and it'd get like it would get it would get redundant. I'm gonna do dog that laughs. I'm gonna do dog that laughs too. I also think yeah, a laughing dog 
that's only like a plus. It's oh yeah, it can only be that a positive. Spits, he would just and he'd like rap about his owner. He would rap. Yeah, he would rap shit about. He would you. do diss tracks about his owner for sure. Steve Darby said, "Hey guys, eleven thirty Eastern, and have work in the morning, but I can't miss submitting a question." Good stuff, Steve. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I know Mr. Owl said three, but it doesn't seem like the most trustworthy apple just biting the whole pop. Love the pod and breadstick for life. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can't bite the pop. That There's no bites allowed. That's illegal. I, it takes like probably like 400 licks. I mean. It's rule two in the rule book. Yeah. So I, I don't really know. Well, he did. He just did the commercial. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. You bit the pop. Yeah, you, you bit the pop, and he's trying to like make it a legit argument that it takes three. You bit the damn pop yeah. in front on camera, like in front yeah. of everybody. What are you are like? What are you arguing at this point? Like you, you bit it. You bit the pop. Yeah. And what? No he, he, Well, he'll argue like. I bit it, but like if I just would have done one more lick, it would have taken out the pop. The yeah, same no, thing. I, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's yeah. a couple hundred licks, man. Yeah, a couple hundred, uh, maybe even thousands, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because one lick doesn't go that far. Cruz said, when do you start calling Anthony Edward, Edwards daddy? Shut up. Hey, man. hey, Cruz. It's Never. Crew. <laughs> it's crew, but leave it at Cruz. <laughs> My bad. Whatever, For crew. the name thing. You don't, not right now, crew. Not really, not right now. <laughs> not right now. I'm so nervous for game two. Just not right now, dude. I don't want to hear that shit. Seriously, dude. Okay, don't do that. Not He's now. He's so good, though. Super, really, really good guy you guys got. I won't really take that away from you guys. Best player in the series? No. Is Yoke. Is Yoke. Yoke is the best and player that, in the and series. Then and then Ant. But Ant is really fun to watch, and I'm scared of him. So, he might have a 70 ball. He might. He would be the guy to do that. Yeah. We got Flynn here. Hey, up and coming stick here. He's up and coming as a stick. We're cool, just, cool, yeah, cool, we cool. have a farm system. Yeah. Just be hop in there. Um, trust it. Yeah. Trust, trust the process. Yeah. Flynn. It's not like, it's not an overnight thing. Be patient. Be patient. Um, you see guys like Breadstick Cole. Right? Yeah. You see guys like Steve Darby. Look at their tapes. Mm-hmm. Look at what they did. Mm-hmm. Um, but Flynn up and coming stick said, loving the pod. Let me get each of your childhood celeb crushes. Opal from Win dixie <laughs> when I was like 10. Dang. Um, it's a really random one. Childhood crushes. I'm trying to think like really young. I don't think we like had them really like that because like we would have talked about it. But I just remember Opal from Win Dixie. I really, I really want to figure out because you. I'm ha- trying to think like the. You probably had one. You definitely had one. Um, I definitely have one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. Who do you got, man? Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That was my childhood crush. Um, still is, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, she's a uh, great movie, too. Incredible as man. That movie came out when we were, like, kids. That movie I came was trying out to be when... da- I was so jealous of what Dash had yeah. with that super speed shit, man. We were in our prime of... Of cuteness, you think? Of, like, kids? kidness. Of kidness, yeah, because we got the PJs. You got Jack Jacks. That sucks, dude. I got Dashes. No, I think I just also got Dashes. I don't think Jack Jacks... You got Jack's Dash even... PJs? I don't think da- Jack Jacks even existed. Jack 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 has a line now. He didn't have a line then. He was well. He, you know, people don't remember. In, in Incredibles one, he hadn't popped yet. Like he, he wasn't even like superhero yet. Yeah, it was like Kawhi before. Mm-hmm. Like it was Kawhi in the first championship team. Like he wasn't yeah, yeah, an yeah. all star. Like yeah, yeah, that, that is Jack true. Jack That's crazy because of what he's done now. That he mm-hmm. was like that. Um, Cam, I'm okay with this conversation. He said, I think you guys are overlooking Pepper Jack as the new face of the cheese division. Mm. Yes, Cheddar has been on it. And don't... Mm, no, mm. no, I, no, just... I like this conversation. Yes, Cheddar has had a great run, but at the end of the day, mm. Swiss would just be a worse Cheddar. I, I don't hate what... He's saying the shit Swiss that people don't want to say. Worse Cheddar? Swiss has a lot of holes in his game, whereas Pepper Jack <laughs> brings the fire to keep young fans invested. I, Cam, thank you for saying that. It's like you... That's... Nobody wants to say that's unpopular, but I I don't hate any of that. I mean, I can't argue with the holes. Okay, that's he's holy. There's that's holes. a legit. That's a legit problem. Straight up has holes in his cheese, and and, and frankly, I don't I don't get Americans' game. I think that's oh people are saying what? Americans the next face of the the league. Americans him. He's great, but he's like, him. But this is the thing. Like, Americans you won't even him. He, but you won't even hear. Like I think Pepper Jack has more flair. Like American uh, just plays the role of cheese. No, your guys just aggressive. what's your identity other than you're a cheese? That an American, I get it. He's the cheese. Yeah, but like, what's your what? So what? You have a good offhand. You have a good no, no, no. He's you have just spice. The, you no, have no, no, pop. No, no, no. What do you no, have? No, no, no. 
you want cheese, that's what he is. Okay? That like he's not he's not overcomplicating things. I think Pepper Jack is like he's losing the plot. He's dude, he's doing Pepper Jack, he's like putting peppers into his like why are what is what But he's a but he's a great base. His base cheese is really nice. But I bet Danny, have you even asked Pepper Jack what his base cheese is? I think his base cheese might just be Swiss, brother. It ain't no Swiss. I dude. think it is. Dude. And, and if you're born Swiss, you have holes. And so don't like say there's, pepper There's holes in Pepper Jack sometimes. Yeah, but not but that's cuz he's he's uh he like pushes in uh peppers and stuff. That's a that's a man-made. Hey, that's man-made. I, I'm just saying I I think that your guy is just he's doing too much. What if I what if I I, I want to buy a stack of cheese and be able to use it on any on any dish that I, I want to use. You just you're just not a big Pepper Jack fan and that's fine. I, know, but I would if, buy a stack of pep. What if I want what if what if I want to do a meal that's not pepper? Peppery. What you play? You could play them on an egg. You play them on a burger. Like where yeah, can't what if where I'm can't pet play? I'm just saying. Sometimes I'm not feeling peppery. I get it. We can add peppers, but we can't unadd the pepper from the jack. I, I get it. I just Cam. I think it's a really it's a good conversation to have. Yeah, I think, I think so. Think it's too. a good conversation to have. All right, Prisoners Breakdown. Um, really, really good movie. You <sighs> you like really got struck by it. Yeah. You're like this is this is that guy. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really good. But I also saw that Zendaya movie that I thought was super good mm-hmm. yesterday. So I'm like. And maybe we just go see that movie. That's our next movie that we review. Yeah. Um, this yeah. prisoner movie. Whoever like suggested this movie, I don't know how he knew that we would love this movie, but yeah, give us more movies like job. like prisoners to watch. Because um, I think we're just gonna do a review every pod now. I love. By the way, watching movies is really awesome. Same. I have got the movie bug. Yeah. Um, but start yeah, off. I mean, what, what's your stick rating? I'm gonna give it eight point eight point three sticks. Okay, I'm gonna give it eight point one sticks. Oh, and what was uh, what I, was Interstellar? I think Interstellar was like the best movie of all time, though. Okay, I think I get. I think my my Interstellar rating was like in the nine sticks. And but you're okay with that because Interstellar had like it taught me things. I got the gravity, the yeah, changes yeah, yeah. time. It's, it's like, bigger. What? It's what? bigger than just a movie. This movie was just like as good as you could be in the thriller realm. Yeah, yeah. I think Sixth Sense maybe. Sixth Sense maybe, was pretty maybe damn the good. role model. Yeah, thriller. yeah. Um. Cause they had that like a big twist thing going. Okay, so do you? Okay, where do we start? Where um, do we start with this? First of all, I like the length. I, I like, like how I like how we're two hours and thirty minutes. I'm I'm forty minutes in, and I'm like, I haven't even what what's gonna happen in this next two hours? We got so much, and when you're in, you're like, I can't wait for this content. Yeah, I can't wait for this. Content. And it doesn't disappoint. Yeah, no, it doesn't at all. Um, okay, so uh, what? I don't know names. The guy that was in the van in the beginning. And he he gets beat up and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was his involvement with the lady who is obviously the actual one hiding the kids? What was was he trapped by her? Was he, he trapped by he, her for like ten years or some shit? Twenty years, I and, think. Right, and, and he just kind of became cooperative with her. Yeah. So I think he basically was just like there was something like I think they like whatever that soda that they give him. They like really sedated him with it because he like, like, couldn't talk and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the soda just like makes you not even a person anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so maybe over time it just ch- eats away at you. Maybe yeah, that's I what think, that is. Yeah, yeah. and he, he just- Jill and all really, he kind of just ate that shit, man, and didn't really, he didn't get that shook. Uh, he drank that. He drank that soda. Yeah, well, I don't really even know what the soda was. But yeah, um, yeah that guy, I guess, just lived with him for a while. And I think he was probably like, "Look, I'm not getting out. I'm just gonna, I'm, we're gonna kick. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're kick. gonna kick." And and he did, and that and that he did, and that he did. Um, sorry for the hits you had to take, man. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. yeah. I mean, it, it's and it, it feels like he just didn't have the goods to like speak up. Yeah, or maybe he just didn't because because what's the guy? What's that guy's name? What's that actor's name? That Hugh Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jack. Yeah, Jackman's kind of a hothead. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about Jackman. I mean, listen, the thing is with Jackman is he he thought that you were the guy, and and he I thought I get why he would think that, and and he was probably really mad at him. Yeah, really mad. He at was him. probably really upset. I do think Jackman was kind of right. In what sense? Hashtag Jackman was right. That's what I'm going to start saying. Because because he knew where the kids were. Because he you had the information. He had it. He just couldn't spit it out. Dude. But he knew where the kids were. And he was the one that picked him up. That is true. You picked up the kids. That is true. And and dropped him off at the crib and knew that they were there the whole time. And so were he getting, did. So Jackman was right. Hashtag Jackman was right. Let's, hashtag, let's make that trend. Let's get that let's going. Let's get that Has, trending on Twitter. Hashtag Jackman was right. Because he was. He was right. I actually didn't even think back about it. He, he just was right. Um, he wasn't the killer, right? But like he, Or he wasn't the guy doing the messed up no. shit. No. But he was right that he knew the info. Um. I also think it's one of those movies where you're like, okay, this priest thing is going to be a thing. Mm-hmm. And then- How did that play into it? The priest killed 
the guy the the girl's wife or the, the, girl, the what the the lady's husband that's who it was yeah oh and because he, he had the say, like he, and he said he's gonna do a bunch more and he yes he was priest was right as well. hashtag priest was right and let's priest, get that trending priest just killed and just like hit him down there just killed him in the yeah, basement but priest he should have just like been like this is what's going on yeah yeah this is why priest should have just but i think priest i think priest was basically let me just take this this into my own hands because mm -hmm. he you know he was like this guy's gonna murder i mean good kill yeah good, good kill, kill but he also he didn't know about the wife i think because the wife kind of probably took just over. thought it was the guy yeah, yeah 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 wife i mean wife was a really good face just as far as not getting caught really good really good she did a good job being the face um the big question for me that I'm I'm not really getting yet is guy that ends up uh they take him in and he kills himself. Yep. That guy what, he was like role playing? He was um He was like role playing being a killer? Like what was he doing? He like read that book he, and he like was trying to do that. I don't I don't know. And that's just kinda this is King you know what? I'm giving that guy, I'm kinda giving him the, the Matt Damon of this. I mean I'm gonna give him the Matt he, Damon award. Where it's like what are you why were you here? You weren't really a part of it for me. But and he went in and stole the clothes, and that's why they were bloody. You know what I'm talking about? He was role playing. He was role. He but thought he, he was a criminal or some shit. But he wasn't. He thought he would. He was acting like he was the guy that was actually killing. Correct, but he wasn't. That's was weird. weird. So he was just. That's a weird, weird shtick, dude. And I, and you're like, hey man, you you're getting yourself into trouble for no reason. Weird you're, shtick. You're not doing the. You're not doing it. So why you getting yourself into prison for no reason? Like he's he's putting evidence against himself with like the bloody clothes. Yeah, I'm trying to. And he didn't do it. Yeah, it's a weird. It's a it's a weird weird stick, brother. It's a weird past. I can't think that was kind of probably just like kind of his hobby. Yeah, but it's a little. Off. That's just what he was into. It's a little that's what off. he was into. But that, yeah, that's what he was into. Mm -hmm. That's what he was into. Um, but I, I I do appreciate him. Oh, for, and now it makes a little more sense. The mannequins were buried in the front. He just like was like a, he wanted to be a fake killer. Remember yeah, the yeah. mannequins were like, in the front. That was just his, that's just kind of what he did on the side. Got it. But Got he it. did also. He did, like, he did break into their house and like steal their clothes. Can't do that shit. So that Definitely what you that. did commit a couple crimes. Yeah, they had you on that. Yeah, they had you down for that. They, they you got booked for that. Killed himself. And Jill and all, you should have taken that the wife's statement on that more seriously up front. When because remember yep. he was he was kind of like yeah like you're kind of like drugged yeah. up and like yeah, yeah. Jill and all you missed there yeah. a little bit like you should have looked yeah Jill and all came you, back to it yeah that's just not great detective work. You know what was interesting. Um, that I thought was interesting is like Gyllenhaal's character just like twitched a lot. Did you notice that? I did. I, I was like, is anything going to come back to? It seems like that was just like a character trait. Sounded, I, like, yeah. I mean, it, like I, I think that's just that's just Gyllenhaal just being a good actor. But usually, when you have that, like it'll be like, like there would be a dialogue of like, yeah, I've had like Tourette since I was five. Like it was interesting that there was that trait, but it was never addressed why. You know. Yeah, but I bet it, I bet. There is a deeper thing that it's like he was like if you watched it four times you'd be like oh this would make mm -hmm. more sense why he did this and this. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that? Well, I, I guess there's not it, there isn't really a question mark to end the movie. I, well, the, it's just does he save him is the question mark. You, he saves him, but then he just goes to jail. I think they basically just ended the movie because they're like, are we going to end it with this guy just like getting bare like just dug up from the. The, and then going to jail for holding the other guy. Hostage. Yeah, it's like we just don't need that that fifteen minutes of movie here. Mm -hmm. I think that that's why they ended. They're like, we'll just end it on a nice little like, oh, he's whistling, he got him. Like, we're gonna, you he's know, he's definitely gonna get him. Yeah, you connect those dots. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what other questions I had. Um, here I had like a really good article that just like asked questions. Like, are, is this killer supposed to just be like she just kills people? I guess. And that and that there isn't really a reason there, or it's just yeah. What's up with that? I I mean. Like we didn't get we didn't we didn't get an explanation on this maze. Yeah, what was with the maze thing? I didn't really get that. I didn't either, dude. Why Bob Taylor implicated himself? Who's Bob Taylor? Bob Taylor is the weird guy that just kind of had the weird hobby. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Let's you do want me Bob to just Taylor. Read, you want me to read up here? Let's do some Bob Taylor stuff. I got here. like just a, a paragraph. I'm just gonna read it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do let's do let's do Bob. Here. I want to hear all things Bob Taylor. Let's do Bob Taylor here. Um, another of Holly's kidnapping victims is Bob Taylor. Oh. <laughs> So then he got it. In the film, Taylor is used as another red herring who breaks into... You got red herring on you in your vocab? Mm -hmm. I've heard it. What is red herring again? You like, you, they, they like send you on a wild goose chase. Got You're it. like, I'm uh, following Bob. The, Bob's the guy. Bob's not the guy. Got it. So herring number one would have been would have been freaking well, Alex Jones. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Taylor is used as another red herring who breaks into Dover's house. 
is found with Anna and Joy's clothes covered in blood and confesses to the kidnappings before committing suicide. In the scene in which prisoners, directed by, uh, reveals that Holly was responsible for the kidnapping, it is also revered that Taylor was a former victim of the Jones that actually escaped and Holly forgot he existed until he appeared in the news. So Holly just forgot she had him at the crib. Oh, what? She forgot she was keeping him at the crib and he just escaped. Taylor, suffering from similar trauma from, from his experiences as Alex, began emulating his own memories uh, of his kidnapping. As Mr. Jones was obsessed with mazes, Taylor's traumatic childhood caused his own mind to break and become obsessed with them himself, explaining the writing on the walls of his home. Because of Taylor's mental state, it can be argued that he was fantasizing about kidnapping children to emulate Mr. Jones. This explains the seeming plot hole of why he would implicate himself, despite not participating in the kidnapping of Anna and Joy. So he just and they're like, using had the trauma. word "implicate" as kill I think, himself. I don't know as why he would implicate himself. Maybe like make himself like look guilty or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good explanation there. Uh, does makes does a Loki save Dover? Loki, that was his name. Dude, obviously he saves him. With the majority, the prisoner's ending is left ambiguous. The main way this is done is through Keller Dover's fate, which continues the film's depiction of real-life horror scenarios. At the end of the film, Keller is left in the pit beneath the Jones, blah, blah, blah. The very last scene of the film sees Loki, Loki standing defeated in front of Holly's house, hearing a faint whistle. He shrugs off the sound before hearing it again. Yep. Um, it's left out whether he saves him. Such an ending with... A big unanswered question can frustrate audiences. I, I didn't. I didn't get frustrated by it. Yeah, I wasn't frustrated. I. I it, it. For me, it, he saves him and then he goes to jail, and that's how it ends. The prisoner's ending, as it stands, carries the grim feel of the movie, but gives a faint glimmer of hope in the end as well. I mean, great film. Like, you did a great job. I will say, it. it sometimes you're like, damn. I. I you feel like they're gonna. It, you're gonna be like, oh, they didn't just actually get kidnapped and by a murderer. You know what I'm saying? And they did. And they did get kidnapped by a murderer. They got kidnapped and she was a murderer. And then she just was trying to kill them. And then Yeah. So you right. like it, it's kind of just exactly what you would expect. But it, it was it was um I didn't did, did you think it was her at any point? No. So that's good job. Like, yeah, good job movie. Good, good work. I, I did not think of, who did you have down as who did you have? I dude for some reason I, I had it I had Hugh down. I kinda had Hugh I had like one of the family members as well. I was like, I had Hugh, like Hugh just you had like Hugh slotted in there. Hugh like has just been doing this, and then like he doesn't even realize that he's like doing. Uh, yeah, maybe he's like going crazy or something. That's why I had down. I had Hugh potentially down. Um, yeah, great movie, great film. It made, like even uh, when he says like they weren't crying until I left them in the beginning when he says that to him, that makes so much. Alex Jones. Oh said that yeah, to you. he did say that, and they probably weren't crying until he he dropped him off. God, that's good. What a fucking film. What yeah, great film. film. Uh, give us more like prisoners to yeah. to do. Um, because that shit was just, special. Yeah, great movie, and I think that's probably it. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, Epi twenty seven. Go Nuggets. Love you guys. Love y'all.